Welcome back. If the hair wasn't a giveaway, we've actually um, ended up in a flashback. Right here, in the hospital. Or research facility, ADDC? Yeah, we came to investigate and then we got forced into a flashback. I wanted to go do some drone racing, but no. Anyway, let's talk with Terasawa. Um, are you finished? Uh, no. Not yet. Just a little longer. It says talk, but, you know. Um, are you finished? Hey, hold on. No, no. Not yet. I was trying to look at the door. I wonder how well you can see in here from the hallway. That, that was it. Okay. Wakasan was here until the morning of the incident. Then he just up and disappeared. Something I've been investigating, by the way. I mentioned previously, like, I noticed some stuttering on the recordings. It's almost like it was dropping frames while it was recording, and I didn't like that. So, tried to do a bit of investigating to see what could be causing all these issues. And it seems to be that my recording software just needs to be in admin mode. And then it doesn't stutter. It's very strange. It's OBS, by the way, in case you're wondering. The window's sealed shut. There's no way Wakasan could have escaped through here. Because there's there's two two ways I could capture this game, essentially. One was capture just what is ever displayed on my monitor. Whatever is displayed there. It's like if I minimized to the desktop, you'd see the desktop. If I went onto Discord, you'd see me on Discord. It, it's kind of more resource intensive because it's just capturing everything. So you want to go with the other option, which is the game capture. So it captures a specific window. Which in this case would be the game, which would be Judgment. But when I was doing my investigating, it was a case of the game mode seemed to be the one that was stuttering as opposed to the display mode or display capture. It was, it was very strange why one was stuttering and one wasn't. And it just seems to be like, yeah, I needed to put it in admin mode on my OBS. It's it very strange. Very, very strange. Anyway, let's get on with this. Um, are you finished? Reasonably. Yeah, I've, I, am, I, am I done though? Not yet. Is there anything else around? Hmm. Seem okay. Really well. Um... Are you finished? Seem to be. Yeah, I've investigated enough. Yeah, I've seen what I need. Anything else you can share? How long will Okubo-san's sentence be? Huh? I if he's found guilty, that is. Probably ten years, maybe more. It's hard to say for sure. And what if he confesses? Would they shorten his sentence? Well, at the very least, it'd make a better impression than insisting he didn't do it. But you're still going to push an innocent plea? Even though Okubo-san is the one who'll suffer for it? If he's really not guilty, he won't have to. I'll win. But to be perfectly honest, this is my first criminal case. What? Civil cases have been a mixed bag for me, too. I've actually lost more than I've won. Is that so? Apparently, a smart lawyer would never even consider an innocent plea in this case. Guess it's a good thing that I'm not so smart then, because I honestly believe I can win. Terasawa-san, were you close to Okubo-kun? I spoke to him pretty often, yes. I would see him around the ward all the time. And what did you think of him? Did he seem like the kind of guy who'd do something like this? I'm sorry. The director told us not to say too much. Wait! If you know anything that can help, just get in touch, okay? I'll do whatever it takes to set Okubo-kun free. But I can't do it alone. Just... give it some thought, Terasawa-san. We're going back to pre- no? I thought we were going back to present, but no. No. Just now, we went to the ADDC. Thought I should have a look at things with my own eyes. And? How did it go? 
There's no chance you walk. You're practically a lost cause. Hey. Yagami-sensei, is that what you think? It's like this, Okubo. You tell me you're innocent, and I'll fight to the end. I really have nothing to lose by helping you out. It's just like I told you. Whoever did it is framing me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm oddly inclined to believe him. On the day of the crime, you were in the general war of the ADDC, yes? Starting at 8 a.m., you went around to each room and gathered the linens. Yes. Nobody would dispute that. And after that, you covered Wakusan's nose and mouth, suffocated him, and then carted him out in the laundry bin. That's not true. Wakusan wasn't there when I went into his room. I didn't see him at all that day. You have to believe me. And I do. So when you went down to leave the center at 10 a.m. after gathering the linens, you realized there was a body hidden in the truck. Yes. That's what happened. Then, after debating whether or not to report the body, you chose to hide it in the mountains. That's gonna be a huge hurdle to climb in the trial. I had a criminal assault on my record. I knew the police would have suspected me if I went to them. Aren't you forgetting the bad blood you had with Wakusan? Huh? Bad blood? What are you talking about? Three days before the murder, Wakusan claimed Okubo-kun here punched him and stole his wallet. They told me all about it at the center. When did you even ask? While you were busy chatting up Terasawa-chan. <laughs> Even if I bitch about it, I'm still damn good at my job. Well, Ogobo-kun, did you take his wallet or...? Not quite. They call it delusion of theft. It's a symptom of dementia. You think something's been stolen from you, then blame the first person you see. Not the easiest thing to deal with, right? Someone accuses you of theft for no reason? Must have been a shock. So when Wakusan tried to hit you, you just about hit him back. But I didn't hit him. No. You murdered him. I wouldn't kill a man over something like that. Ah. I wish I could believe you, pal. Come on, Okabo-kun. You got a record of violence. It wasn't me. I swear, somebody set me up. Please, you have to believe me. Whoever did this is laughing at all of us right now. <sighs> Calm down. Yagami-sensei, do you believe me? I do. Okay. Then next time, come alone. Fine, I can take a hint. You and Yagami-sensei can cuddle up all you want. Hey. You know that nurse, Terasawa-san? Cute girl. It sounded like she was worried about you. Bet you'd have a chance with her once you get out of here. I don't know. If you'll excuse me. There's just a few details there that I feel are going to be relevant for what we're investigating right now, obviously. Right now. I'm sure more will be relevant later, though. We're still in flashback territory? So Shintani just left you hanging, huh? He's got to learn some damn patience. Maybe so. But this is my case now. I can handle it myself. Huh. Okay. Huh. Did not expect to be in, in, in flashback territory still. Yagami-san. Hmm? Have you seen Mafia lately? Well, where's this coming from? She's just not that great with men. I suggest you be more assertive. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, you mean that friend of yours, Sarikun? She's got Shintani all riled up. 
Said he'd have been nicer to you if he knew you had friends who looked like her. <laughs> Jackass. Hey, nothing's official yet, guys. Regardless, keep it on the down low, okay? Yet? That word says more than you think. <laughs> <laughs> little giggle. Hey, oh dear, oh dear. Can I not leave? No? Oh, fine. I'll keep my lips sealed. I'm liking the sepia tone to imply flashback. Mafia Kuhn's a prosecutor, right? Isn't it kind of taboo for her to date a defense attorney? Can we not do this? Either way, guess the Okobo case comes first. We're pleading innocent, yeah? That's the plan. What is your plan here? This isn't going to be an easy win. Well, I'm working on that. There's one piece of evidence that still bothers me. Yeah? And what's that? What should I focus on? I want to prove Okubo innocent. <laughs> hmm. I'm wondering. It's like the fluid's like, no. Like, witnesses saw Okubo pushing said cart. Hmm. Could be that. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go with the victim, because there's still a few unanswered questions there, so. This is Wakusan, the victim. Suffocation is the apparent cause of death, but they still haven't nailed it down conclusively. As for his body, it was found buried in the mountains of Okutama. And Okubo's the one who told him where it was, right? As I've seen, he's admitted to that much at least. Yes, but he insists he didn't commit the murder. Maybe so, but you're gonna need evidence if you want to prove it. They find anything on the body? Maybe... Something that give our man an alibi? No, nothing like that. Well, that's a shame. Well, that's not my point, though. The evidence I showed you is... That evidence won't win you the case. What the hell's your problem? Was that Shintani? I think so. Get back here! <laughs> what the? Uh, that bastard. Oh, was eavesdropping on you. What the hell? Uh, I tried to stop him, but uh, he pulled a stun gun on me. Uh, uh. Hey, wait up! Damn, dude. Hey, that's something I want to do was run around. Whoa. Was run around, um, old Camarocho from a few years ago. The sepia tone, essentially. <laughs> Something, like, even though I seem to have, like, potentially found a solution to some of the away. major issues in terms of the, um, stuttering in the recordings. At least it seems like, yeah, I've still got to investigate all that. I'm still thinking it would be wise to stick to, like, getting, like, lost judgment on PS5. Just because it would, like, save from resources? It's, 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 PS5 is good. It'd be 60 frames per second, so... That's the key thing for me. Nice, nice. Damn, dude. Yeah, I think that would be wise. Woman. Help! Someone help me! Aren't you Terasawa san? Let me go! We got a groper out here? Scum of the earth! <laughs> Not on my watch, you son of a bitch! 
I recognize that voice. Do I even, yeah, I was going to say, like, do I even have items to equip? It's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> like, no, one thing I've noticed, like, something I was also investigating in terms of, like, the stuttering and stuff, so I decided to put the graphics back up and actually go a bit further. As part of my testing, I may have actually gone a bit too far with the testing. Because <laughs> it's doing a little bit of stuttering in the actual game now. It's, 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 I think this is why it's like, I'll probably just stick with like getting Lost Judgment on console. Not have any of these issues that I need to mess around with and test things. Just avoid that completely. In future, I'll probably have two PCs for this kind of thing. In future. Want to run the game? Want to record it. Would help with streaming that I do on Twitch as well. Can all lawyers fight like that? So what is your story? Clearly more going on. Did you really need to run away like that? I assume you came to see me. There was something I wanted to talk to you about, yes. But I wasn't sure if I should. Then that pig-headed friend of yours started shouting, so I just lost it. Okay, but did you have to tase him? Not that he didn't have it coming. Anyway, I'm listening if you want to talk. No matter what it is, I'll keep your secret. Anything you tell me will fall under client attorney privilege. Well, you know the witness who last saw Wakusan? Said he saw him sleeping in his bed. Uh-huh. Well... That witness is a man by the name of Shonasan. He's one of the scientists at the ADDC. Not only that, but he's the director's right-hand man, too. And this is him? Pretty much a run-of-the-mill researcher. Yes. He's a very dedicated doctor, so the nurses have a lot of faith in him. But something felt off when I heard what he had to say about the incident. And what's that? I guess I'm just skeptical as to whether or not he actually saw Wakusan. I don't think he's intentionally deceiving us, but he may be mistaken somehow. And if I had to guess, I'd say the other nurses feel the same. Still, why hasn't anyone mentioned this until now? How could we? Nurses talking about a doctor behind his back? That's not something a nurse could do without consequences. And if it came to a courtroom testimony... None of you would testify? Maybe the other nurses wouldn't, but I would. I never really fit in over there anyway. Besides... Yeah? I think Okubo-san is innocent. Oh, really? Sounds like I've finally got an ally on my team. Why does it look like she's clasping her hands around the drink she isn't holding? I take away the strangest things from these... scenes, don't I? I'm currently employed as a researcher at the Advanced Drug Development Center. Part of our research consists of clinical tests we perform on patients in the general ward of the center. On the day of the crime, I was making my usual rounds through the ward. And what time was that? Around 7.50. You're sure? 
Yes, the patients eat breakfast at precisely 8 o'clock. I always head to the break room myself, uh, right around then, too. This break room, to be precise? That's correct. Our more mobile patients walk there for breakfast instead of eating in their own rooms. Then, while the nurses help the patients eat, I ask about how they feel and how the medicine is treating them. And on the day of Wakusan's disappearance, you pass by his room before going to the break room? Yes. And in that room, you saw Wakusan lying on the bed? Yes. Can you describe the situation to us as you remember it? The door has a window, so you can see into the room from the hallway. And this is the room you're referring to, yes? That's correct. From where I was standing in the hallway, I could see Wakusan lying in bed. He was asleep, with a blanket covering most of his body. And what time was that? Around 7.50. No further questions. <sighs> Yagami-sensei. Why did you call her to the stand? She actually asked to testify. Is that a problem? Not really, no. Yes, by chance for a comeback. Terasawa-san, you were present for Shono-san's testimony just now, yes? Yes. And what is your opinion on that testimony? For a scientist, I felt his wording was rather imprecise. And as a medical professional, I felt his actions were negligent. Could I ask you to be a little more specific? Our witness, Shono-san, claims he saw Waku-san sleeping in his bed during his morning rounds. However, there's no way he could have known that just by looking in from the hallway. I have evidence supporting Terasawa-san's testimony. I'm really liking the music there. It, again, there's these little elements elements when we like to go to a courthouse type scene. It just feels like Ace Attorney. Slightly more serious, apart from that time we were, you know, having a case over cake. But, you know, it it's just got that feeling to it. it Shono shouldn't have been able to see you, Waku. I have evidence to prove that. Well, it has to be that. I mean... Please look at this. It's a photograph of the victim's room as viewed from the hallway. In other words, this is what Shono-san would have seen when he checked in on Wakusan. And this evidence points to this fact. <laughs> hmm. I'll go with the bottom one. The one who killed Wakusan is actually our witness, Shono-san. Excuse me? What grounds do you have for that assertion? Uh, grounds? Grounds? Um, well... Please. You know this is a court of law, don't you? I love, <laughs> I love how serious he was. Like, yes, I know this is fact. <laughs> and then just completely like, ah, uh, I didn't think you were going to have follow-up questions. I thought you'd just believe me. Whoops. Shoot, I have to calm down. Let's try this again. Sorry, let me start over. Our witness, Shono-san, claims he saw Wakusan sleeping in his bed during his morning rounds. However, I'm not convinced that's actually what happened. Shono shouldn't have been able to see Wakfu. I have evidence to prove that. All right, hallway. Please look at this. It's a photograph of the victim's room as viewed from the hallway. In other words, this is what Shono-san would have seen when he checked in on Wakusan. And this evidence points to this fact. I just... It's like, oh, I almost, I almost want to like do that one. <laughs> no. Shono-san was lying when he said he saw Wakusan in the bed. 
Excuse me? What he saw from the door was likely nothing more than a bulge of sheets. He couldn't have been able to identify it specifically as Wakusan. So to claim as much in his testimony seems like quite an exaggeration, don't you think? But common sense would dictate otherwise, would it not? Who would be in the bed other than Wakusan? The staff nurses are trained to always enter a room when checking in on a patient. In Wakusan's case, it's impossible to tell anything just by looking in from the hallway. There was actually one time a while back where we thought he was under the covers, only to find Wakusan eating in the break room a second later. And upon re-examining the room, we realized that we had mistaken a bunched up pillow for Wakusan. The witness makes an important distinction. The prosecution asserts that Shono-san's testimony is clear, that the victim was taken out of his room at some point between 7.50 and 8.30 in the morning. They claim that because of this time frame, the defendant must have smuggled Wakusan's body out in his laundry bin. That's why Okabukon was assumed to be the only person who could have killed Wakusan. But if Shono-san's testimony is invalid, as the defense asserts, we have to consider the possibility that Wakusan was taken in the middle of the night when nobody else was around. After which, the killer could have waited until the morning to plant the body in the defendant's truck. In other words, the defense establishes that there is reasonable doubt that Okubo-san is the killer, rendering the prosecution's central argument unsound. Your Honor, taking this new testimony into account, I'd like to call Shono-san back to the stand for cross-examination. Got him. Shono-san. Yes? Let's see how Shono responds with that evidence in Terasawa-san's testimony out in the open. I'll get right to the point. On the day of the crime, what did you see when you looked into Wakusan's room? I saw Wakusan asleep in his bed, I think. And did you get a clear look at his face? I don't remember. So it's possible that it could have been someone other than Wakusan in that bed. Or maybe even a pillow that you mistook to be Wakusan's body. Isn't that right? Objection! The defense is leading the witness. Sustained. Please rephrase the question. Shono-san, can you say without a doubt that Wakusan was in that bed when you checked on him? I... I, I don't think I can, no. Then the defense rests. But I do have a quick remark for the prosecution. Huh? The prosecution's argument has fallen apart. Now to go in for the kill. The charges against my client stem from your assertion that he's the only possible suspect, assuming the crime took place within the stated time frame. However, the defense has proven without a doubt that Shono-san's testimony is unreliable, establishing reasonable doubt for my client. I would suggest, then, that you withdraw the charges against my client. With such inconclusive evidence, you'll only be wasting the court's precious time. The prosecution does not consider the witness's testimony inconclusive. His memory of the incident may be fuzzy, yes, but that doesn't change that he saw the victim. So, your whole case is based on a fuzzy memory? This promising young man's future is at stake, and you're willing to throw that away on unreliable testimony? Dr. Shono is a bright and diligent researcher. After watching his own grandmother develop dementia, he vowed to create a drug that could cure the disease. After paying his own way through medical school, he went on to become the head researcher at the ADDC. Day after day, Dr. Shono visits his sick patients out of the kindness of his heart leading to his valiant testimony here today. If you want to know whether I trust this man, then my answer is a resounding yes. In other words, because he's such a great researcher, his testimony is infallible. His own admission that he's not sure is somehow overlooked? Is that the sum of it? <clears throat> because from here, it sounds like you're putting your faith in Shono-san's title, not his testimony today. The prosecution is not as easily swayed as you think. And you want to talk reputation? What of your client's history of domestic abuse? Uh-oh. He's gonna bring up Okubo's record. 
Six years ago, the defendant broke his girlfriend's finger. The poor girl is still suffering from the effects. And the cause? A minor, drunken disagreement. Now, fast forward to what occurred a few days prior to the crime. Wakusan, suspecting the defendant of stealing his wallet, lashed out and punched the defendant in the face. Given the clearly violent nature of Okubo-san here, that alone would be motivation enough to murder the poor old... Is something wrong, ma'am? Please remain seated while court is in session. Well, we're waiting. Terasawa-san? Okubo-san is not a violent person. And he hasn't even had a drink in over six years. Not a single drop since the incident. My court will not stand for this commotion. He didn't blame Waku-san at all. He knew that the outburst was just caused by his dementia. That it was all the sickness's fault. So there was no reason for him to resort to murder. Terasawa-san, please. Okubo-san really is an incredible, caring person. Please leave this courtroom at once. You're right that he may be hard to approach, but he's a kind soul, and he always keeps his promises. Okubo-san's not the only person in this courtroom who would be affected by a guilty verdict, either. As a matter of fact, it would break my heart. And even through it all, he wanted me to keep this a secret, not to tell anyone, not even his lawyer, that we were dating. That actually may work against us, because that can't be admissible, can it? Even though he knew he could have ended up in prison, making sure I was safe was the only thing in the world he cared about. That's just who he is! But when the prosecution has already decided he's a criminal, how could he possibly be given a fair trial? <sighs> Her little outburst wasn't technically admissible, but as the trial dragged on, it hung over the jury like a stone. And in the end, Shinpei Okubo was found not guilty. But only a month after his release, everything changed. The same girl who had so bravely proclaimed Okubo's innocence died by the man's own hand.